Because they are so comprehensive and precise, the words and pictures in the Flying Scott class documentation cannot adequately demonstrate how easy the procedures of measuring the centerboard and weighing the hull really are. First, the boat is backed under a hoist on its trailer. Then the lifting bridle is fitted to the boat and the bridle is attached to the hoist. The boat is lifted off its trailer and the trailer is pulled away so that safety supports can be placed under the boat and then the boat is shimmed so it does not rock. Once the boat is secured on the safety platform, the centerboard is fully lowered for inspection. The centerboard is marked at two locations indicated on the template. Then at each marked location, a contour gauge is pressed into the centerboard to determine the shape of the board. Then the gauge is reversed to ensure that the board is symmetrical from front to back. On older boats, slight deviation from the symmetrical is allowed, as a mold used in the past to form the boards was found to be slightly asymmetrical. The process is repeated on both sides of the board. Next, a caliber is run along the board to ensure that it does not have any abnormally high or low spots. Once the centerboard has been measured, the centerboard is raised and the boat is lowered back onto the trailer. Class rules state that a Flying Scott hull and rigging should weigh no less than 675 pounds. The boat should be emptied of all loose equipment, lines, and sails prior to weighing. The class has provided a balanced scale and weights. The beam is rigged to a 7 to 1 ratio so that the class supplied balance weights are exactly 1 7th of the minimum weight of the boat. Attach the balance point of the beam to the hoist. Attach the short end of the beam to the lifting bridle on the boat. Attach the long end to the balance weights. While holding the balance weight securely on the ground, use the hoist to lift the boat off the trailer. Slowly release the balance weights. If the boat is 675 pounds or more, it will lift the balance weights off the ground. If the boat does not lift the balance weights off the ground, it is too light and weight must be added to the boat before it is accepted as being class legal. 